So when you put all that together, what do you get? Well, so we've got lots of distant galaxies. We know how far they are away. We know how fast they're receding. What we find is something called the Hubble law. And it's basically very simple. It says that the further a galaxy is away, the faster it's flying away from us. Now, how are we to interpret that? I mean, you might naively say, well, does that mean we're somehow at the center of the universe and everything's flying away? Well, no, actually. If you think a little bit more, if you think, for example, about baking bread, if you get a lump of dough and put raisins in it and stick it in the oven, then the bread expands. So all the raisins move away from every other raisin. If you were sat on one raisin, what you would see is the Hubble law, exactly the Hubble law. You'd see the ones close to you moving away more slowly, the ones further away moving away quicker because the bread is all stretching. All of space is stretching at a constant rate. So you get this fascinating law, which is exactly what we observe. And I wanted to give you the number, because it's a very interesting number. I gave a lecture. I don't know if any of you know The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Do any of you know that, Douglas Adams? Yeah, you, yeah, you do. Brilliant. <laughs> very good. Um, if you don't know it, you should read it. It's a wonderful, funny, hilarious book. In Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy, it's a very famous number, which is the answer to life, to the universe and everything, and it is the number 42. It's been famous for years. It's a, everyone who knows Douglas Adams knows the number. It does actually turn out remarkably, the Hubble constant can be written like this, 42 miles per second per 3 million light years. What does that mean? It means that for every 3 million light years you go away from the Earth, then things, uh, well, if you go 3 million light years from Earth, so let's just step 3 million light years away, then on average things will be moving away at 42 miles a second. It's pretty slow actually. If you go 6 million light years, things will be moving away at 84 miles a second and so on. So every 3 million light year step you take, you add another 42 miles per second to the recession velocity of things. 